Hi, this is Dr. McCord. I want to talk to you for just a little bit about intermolecular forces. These are the forces that are between molecules. That's what makes one molecule want to stick to another molecule. We categorize these into three different types. The first type is called dipole-dipole interaction, and it only occurs if you have a polar molecule. So you have to understand how polarity works. The partial positive part of a molecule will attract the partial negative of that same molecule and kind of pull them together. This is dipole-dipole interaction. The second one is kind of a special case of dipole-dipole interaction called hydrogen bonding. It's a special case because it just happens to be a very strong case. When you have hydrogen attached to an oxygen through a covalent bond, the hydrogen ends up being partially positive, but in a very special way, meaning it is much more partially positive than your normal partial positive. So this attracts others. Now this hydrogen bonding works only when the hydrogen is attached to an oxygen, a nitrogen, or a fluorine. Now the fluorine one is one single case, it's just hydrogen fluoride, and then you're done. There are no other cases, so that's just one molecule, but we needed to include it. So really, where all the hydrogen bonding molecules are is when the hydrogen is attached to an oxygen or a nitrogen, and there's an entire classification of molecules in organic chemistry, including those two things. And so those will be covered when we get to organic chemistry. The last, and certainly not least, is called dispersion forces. And dispersion forces are the weakest of the three, but there are strength in numbers. So a dispersion force occurs in all molecules. Doesn't matter if you're polar or nonpolar, they're in all of them. It's just that in nonpolar molecules, they're the only forces present. And so even if you have a nonpolar molecule, there are still fluctuations in partial charge that allow it to show up. We sometimes call these temporary dipoles or induced dipoles. And by having those temporary amounts of partial positive, partial negative, you get interaction. So all three of those, dipole-dipole interaction, hydrogen bonding, and dispersion forces make up the entire body that we call intermolecular forces this pulls molecules together and leads to all kinds of different properties. The stronger these forces are, the higher your boiling point will be. The stronger these forces are, the higher your melting point will be. Also leads to higher viscosities. So there are a lot of things that come into play because of intermolecular forces. Vapor pressure is another one. So vapor pressure will also decrease when you increase intermolecular forces because the molecules are held together tighter. So bear that in mind when you go through and study intermolecular forces. Each of these is special in its own way. And thanks for listening.